Hello, I'm Simon, and welcome to another episode of the Maserati Guy. Today we're going to be checking up on the CL500, taking it out for a little spin, and uh, giving you a bit of an update on uh, some plans I have for that car. I'm also going to be talking a little bit about the uh, Tesla Roadster announcement, and um, just my thoughts in general on um, on the electric vehicles um, and in particular you know the, the Tesla models which um, I do have some thoughts about which uh, you might be interested to hear so um, we'll go on to that later. So here she is uh, looking still very beautiful in the uh, a slightly dim light so we'll get her out and just have a quick talk about um, some issues and some plans for the future so one of the issues that I have had in the past and it didn't do it today um, is that I get a warning on the dash um, when you start it up to say that the car is too low and I think what that is, is the, um, the ABC suspension is actually settling down um, and uh, it's losing some pressure somewhere in that system. Um, it can be quick, quickly and easily resolved by just pressing the, um, the uh, suspension height adjustment. And as soon as you do that, it corrects itself. So it pumps up the system again gets the vehicle to the right height and then you can drive it as normal. But I'd be interested to know if anybody knows whether that particular condition um, is normal behaviour or whether um, that's actually a problem or an incipient problem. So just a quick update on the Mercedes. Um, still looking beautiful, but it does need a clean very badly. And I think I'm gonna get this paint protection done on this, on this car as well, because it, it really does save it from the ravages of rain and acidic compounds in the atmosphere. Um, still looks fantastic, as I say. It's a, it's a bloody good looking car, isn't it really? From lots of angles, it does look absolutely amazing. Big old luxury barge, you can't go wrong, really. Haven't driven it a huge amount, but it's uh, still um, driving very well. No, no issues, really. Um, what I am going to do, though, um, is I'm going to look for some um, l slightly larger wheels. As you can see, the, um, the wheels on this particular car are a little bit um, slightly uninspiring. Um, I'm not sure I really like the design, the curvy design. Um, I prefer something a little bit more angular. They're, they look a bit small to me, and so I'm looking to put some AMG style wheels on there, see if I can pick up a second hand set, maybe have them staggered a bit wider at the back, you know, fill out that wheel arch just a, just a tad more. Um, the fronts look okay, but maybe you could have a slightly wider wheel at the back. As I say, these, these are 18s, which I was, I'm surprised at. I thought they were just the regular 17s, but they're actually the 18s. We may be able to get, certainly you can get yeah, we'll be able to get 20s in there, I reckon, which will give it that uh, more muscular look. That will give it a really nice edge, and uh, yeah, it'll be a nice little modification to do. So we're back at Gore Creek Reserve. Um, it's late afternoon. Oh, I got another friendly dog. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. <laughs> it's a dog walker's paradise, this. Um, tides out, as you can see goes out quite a long way. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Had no idea that there was this much tidal variation in Sydney. Uh, 
So I thought I'd say a few words about the announcement of the uh, Tesla Roadster in the last few days. Uh, very exciting, obviously the motoring press has been all over it, the um, car channels on YouTube are all over it. Um, you know, a lot of excitement about that 1.9 second 0 to 60, um, which is, you know, phenomenal really. Um, but I, I, I've never been convinced by electric cars in the sense of a replacement for p real performance cars. I think there's something too visceral about a petrol engine, you know, the V8 sound, um, something so emotional about that. I think you just cannot get that with an electric vehicle. I think they're great for, you know, economy, um, saving emissions. But when you're looking at performance cars, I think you rip the heart and soul out of a car if you if you take away its its um, its mechanical engine. Um, the other thing that bothers me slightly about what Tesla are doing is the fact that um, you know they are getting a lot of subsidies from the U.S. government, and um, you know you would think that those subsidies should really be put towards you know low cost electric vehicles to you know to reduce emissions and pollution and stuff like that, rather than you know developing high end high end sports cars. Um, which few people can afford really but um, but look it's a fantastic development very interesting I'll I'll look forward to it as much as anybody else um, to see it in the flesh so to speak personal opinion feel free to disagree in the comments you know I'd love to hear your views well thanks very much for watching um, as I say uh, I hope you've enjoyed um, the catch up on the CL500 and a few thoughts on the Tesla if you agreed or disagreed, put it in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give the like a click. Don't forget you can subscribe here at any time. Um, there's a little icon there. And uh, once again, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.